automated functions? I started thinking and there are, don't know if you heard that, I bumped the mic. <laughs> but you can call uh, functions from your animation player, right? So you can call uh, specific functions during your animations. And the more I thought about it, uh, the more I realized there seems to be a lot of people that don't know about this. Every time I bring it up, nobody, or the people always just seem to be confused. And when I explain step by step where to click, what to do, people just seem to be even more confused. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a video here, show you, uh, of course, I'm going to create the function here. We're going to add the animation player. We're going to be able to call the function from within that animation player. And hopefully this maybe teaches you guys uh, something new, gives you some ideas, or maybe even just clarify how this even works here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna select my scene here. I'm just gonna create a script. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and create my script here. I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave with the default name. All that's perfectly fine. Open that up. Okay, so now with our script open, uh, we don't really need any of that. But I'll go ahead and we'll create a function. We'll, I don't know, test. And, whoop, what did I do? Must have hit control that instead of shift. Test animation function, right? Returns nothing. And all it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and print out. Okay. Um, Hey, this was printed from a function, All right? I'll go ahead and save that. Cool. Now I just, uh, well, actually we could probably use an auto play. Right, so I'll go ahead and into my scene. I'll add an animation player. And just like a normal animation, I'll come on down animation new testing and all we can do is we can come on here to add track and if we take a look we can see call method is one of them. we can easily just select that and then what you want to do here is select the node that has a script on it right it's one uh something that has a function we're going to go to our node 2d and when we insert a key you see, we're going to have this pop up that is extremely large for some reason. And we're going to see all the functions here that are on a node 2D node. As well as be able to select script methods or the script method section, which will be all the functions that we create inside of our script. So we can see we have test animations function, which is the one that we created here. If I go ahead and select that and select like any key form, I can go ahead and change that. So we can set it right there, 0 0.5, and it is not going to run on its own. That's perfectly fine. I'll just have to call in. If you're wondering about this debugger down here, that's just, this is an old file I converted up and it keeps trying to load the PNG version of the icon, whatever reason, but that's fine. So that's not going to go in. That's not going to play automatically. So I'll just play it uh, manually, right? I'll just go into my ready function, grab the animation player and just call play the player animation. And once we do that, you can see here it gets printed out, uh, but hopefully that clear or clears up how you can actually run a function inside of an animation. And who knows that that might come in handy. It might be something that you're trying to run instead of running a function before you play an animation or after an animation, maybe in your situation, maybe playing or calling the function mid animation uh, would be best. And hopefully now you know how to do that. All right. That's a short video for today. That's it. Take care. I have a subs a good one.